Hi, Hi nerds. nerds! Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about how to study pharmacology for second year and next exam. I know pharmacology can sometimes be a very detailed and sometimes boring subject but trust me along with pathology it forms the basis for medicine. And what if I told you revising theory with previous year and expected MCQs can now be done simultaneously? What if compiling notes is not your biggest burden and your only focus is improving your wrong concept? You could revise all major drug interactions and side effects so efficiently that you'll remember them in one go. Breaking all curiosity, I would like to announce that Prep Ladder is launching their all new and updated that is Dream Notes 4 soon. They have shared their notes with me to review. And I must say that there is not a more comprehensive resource than Prep Ladder for pharmacology and for other subjects as well. So we would like to share a very good news with all of you medicos watching this video who really want to study effectively, save time and be so efficient to be on top of the game for second year and for next exam as well. So we'll be talking about strategies for pharmacology in this video, but Prep Ladder has a vast majority of subjects and notes available. So check out them very soon. Pharmacology is the first subject that gives you the feeling of being a real doctor where you like to write prescriptions and then sign them off as Dr. Akriti Ratta. I mean, it is the subject that gives a practical meaning to the subjects you've learned so far. It acts like an outlet for the theoretical knowledge into the practical world and you finally start to understand those conversations between doctors and nurses where they're using heavy terms like Tramadol or Diclofenac. Basically, it's one step forward from physiology, wherein you study a physiological process like dopamine transmission in Substantia Niagara, disease that happens in its deficiency like Parkinsonism and the drugs that help to cure it. It is through this journey of pharmacology that I've realized the importance of choosing the correct study methods that include GRG, Lippincott and Schanbach, and the use of flashcards. Pharmacology basically starts with the easiest chapter, General Pharm. It is basically your introductory dictionary that includes meanings of terms which systemic pharmacology repetitively uses without giving explanation every time. So what does parenteral root mean? Why do they have 100% bioavailability? In fact, what is bioavailability? You can't jump into the world of pharmacy without knowing its lingo. So that's why I prefer that you study general pharmacology from KDT and for revisions you can always use Shanbag or refer to prep ladder notes. Don't focus much on cramming the examples in general pharmacology as they might seem like a little handful. You will study them in detail while studying every system and then you can write by your own. Like write examples for the drugs who are given intravenously or come up with your own examples of drug interactions. You want to learn all of this in your forthcoming chapter. You need not necessarily write everything that is given on the book. You focus on the basic concepts like recognizing the classes and groups of drugs as these form your basic concepts. Again, systemic pharmacology is very very interesting. But you will have to start from autonomic pharm first. It will open your concepts of receptor-based neurotransmission and the drugs which are used here come under every system that you study further because they're affecting your sympathetic and parasympathetic roots, which in turn supply the whole body and every organ system. After you have completed general pharmacology and autonomic nervous system, you have successfully entered the world of pharmacy. Now you have the power to start with any system you want and you'll easily sail through the terms used in it. You will also understand the reasoning behind the route chosen to give that drug and come up with your own drugs with knowledge of the cholinergic, sympathomimetics, alpha and beta blockers. Now the subject will take place and this is where the addiction starts. Now, as you hack through pharmacology, you realize that every unit deals with four aspects of drug understanding. Its classification, mechanism of action, adverse reaction, and its pharmacokinetics in the body. 
the mechanism of action is such a conceptual topic and it tends to stay in the mind once you start recognizing groups of drugs adverse reactions i would suggest you learn two specific and rest you can write up general uh, side effects like nausea vomiting epigastric pain or headache as we all do it so the classification is the only thing that will consume a lot of your time subjects which slip easily from the mind need an extra approach apart from understanding and learning so what we suggest is suppose your exam is at 2 pm then save at least 3 hours just before your exam for revision two revisions just before the exams are very very important for subjects which involve so many new names they are so volatile you can't just revise it the night before and wake up and give your exam because trust me you'll forget half of the spellings and you'll get confused in the classifications we hope you always stay true to your studies and enjoy them so much that it becomes addictive to crave for knowledge every day So to get your hands on these very comprehensive notes if you decide to buy these notes between 24th of February and 3rd March then I have some very good news for you because you're also getting a Wildcraft bag worth rupees 12.99 free along with the notes so enroll yourself for the dream pack 4 and then you will get an option to purchase the PG version 4 notes hurry up because this exciting offer will end soon and the prices will increase after the 3rd of March So now is the time that you can buy these well designed notes at such an affordable price along with the Wildcraft bag free. The link to enroll for Dream Pack 4 is in the description given below. Do check it out. The team of notes in acting guys Karthik Bhateja and I don't know who this is but ठीक है. It's better. Meri wajah se ghar chalta hai tumhara. Ye to tumhara lavish lifestyle hai na ye to Your birthday, auntie. Uh, if you're turning fifty, and I love you, ma.